What and how does MIDI work in Pro Tools? Was that the best intro? I don't know. It's probably not. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to go set up a new track. You can do stereo if you want to. Let's just do it. Make sure you're setting it as an instrument track. You're uh, going to have a bad time if you don't do this because how is it going to work otherwise? Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take an insert. Uh, in this one we have stereo stuff. Let's go ahead and put the grand in. Now for this one, which is a free plugin, you're going to have to let it load. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a plugin. Plugins you have to load. And there you go. You can see it says loaded down there. And now, oh, my keyboard's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, because you don't got it record enabled. Guess what? It's working now. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to use tempo to go along with the piano because that's what MIDI is good for. And we're going to go ahead and create another click track. In one of the videos, I showed you how to set this up. Real quickly, let's talk about that again. You saw me up here. Click the tempo thing. This opened up. Click the plus. Tap T if you want to do tap uh, tempo. That means you can tap in your own tempo. Uh, we're just going to do a straight to 120 to make it easy. And the click track is set up. As you can hear it, it's good to go. If you want to do something like 3-4 uh, or anything weird like that and not make any money, you can change it here. Um, I'd recommend against it because only 4-4 four four is popular. All right, coming back into everything is set up. We're record enabled. We're record enabled for here. Let's get in it. And we're actually going to mute this click track just for the. I'm going to show you what's going on after. Uh, we are going to play a little ditty. I'm going to let it run for a little bit. And then we're going to set it up so that it plays in time. Because I'm not going to hear a click track. I have no idea what the time is. Let's go to it. Two, three, four. Boom. Beautiful. All right, let's see how that lined up with the click track. Perfectly, I'm guessing. Not quite. What do we do now? We've got a MIDI track that just does not sit in time. How do we fix it? Click on our track here, MIDI real-time properties. Click on our track that we want to get going on. Quantize. Quantize is the future of music. You don't got to be a good player anymore. You just got to quantize it. For the sake of it, let's hit it on every quarter note so you can see that it works. Guess what it does. Except I was not playing in a quarter note rhythm. I was playing in a 64th rhythm. Check that out. Very cool. Now, we can do write the track here so it's perfect and we don't got to worry about that anymore. Now we have ourselves a perfectly in time MIDI track. Let's say that I messed up a note there, which <laughs> is definitely going to happen at some point in my life. Uh, not today, though. We're going to go down to open in MIDI editor. Look at this bad boy. Now we have our MIDI going on. Everything is set up. It's ready to go. And... Uh, all the data is there. You can see that response to the piano and what octave I'm in. Uh, the numbers are here for each C that comes along. Now let's say that uh, I want to change my bass note around. You know, I want this thing to work just differently. I maybe let's see. I'm playing in D, so let's say uh, move it there. This one here too. Too specific with this kind of stuff because again if I'm having a problem guess what I can do go right back to the MIDI uh, time event editor and put it back into rhythm and let's give it another shot Ooh, just kidding need to move it back where we're uh, starting oh that change I just made sucks so let's uh you know, let's do <laughs> what any musician would do and just change it again. 
You get the point. You can move Medi around anytime you want. I'm not exactly in the mood to write a song for you guys, but that's how it's done. And, you know, let's say that uh, we have... Check this out. Let me show you some uh, tricks of the trade here. I want to go ahead and copy this, right? I'm going to get myself a new track going on here. Stereo, instrument, blah, blah, blah. And uh, let's put it right in there. Let's put that bad boy right in there. Okay. Now I've got one channel open up here already. Let's say that I want to... I want to use that same MIDI grand. Or maybe I want to um, have a master track. If you have like other instruments that can do... Uh, I've used Sample Tank before where you can have one program open that has multiple channels. You're going to take this bad boy right here. Which I don't know if it does have anything. But you're going to change this right over here. Again, open up instrument in your subcategories up here. And you change this bad boy to MIDI grand. Now, Dig this. Yeah. That's terrible, but it does work. And you can see that if I mute this here, I'm actually muting out everything I do. But here's here's the cool part. So let's get rid of this. I've taken this MIDI data. And I've already I've already written uh, this thing here. Oh, by the way, since we are out of time, guess guess what we can do? Made it time going to 64. Boom, 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 boom. Right in front of your very eyes. All right, so now that I've got that MIDI data, let's say I don't need another piano. Let's say I want, um, <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I've never opened it before. It's a sine wave. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what uh, see what happens. Guess what, dudes? I just wrote two parts. Let's go back into here and let's uh, take it even to a further. Let's take out. Uh, sorry, I don't want that. I want my hand. Let's take out all this and just use the bass line. Sorry, let's put these back because that is awful. And boom, boom. Check this out. Let me show you the tricks. I just wrote a bass line to something. Crazy. This works for tons of different instruments. That's the joy of MIDI. That's how it works in Pro Tools. I don't see why a lot of people have trouble with this kind of stuff. It isn't that difficult in here. Uh, velocity and everything changes just like it does in Ableton, which everybody seems to love. Uh, it is very easy to look in Pro Tools. I think the one big thing that I like Ableton over is the ability to just kind of play in time and rhythm. Ableton is just a bit more streamlined for that, but it works just fine in Pro Tools. Uh, this is kind of a short lesson. I think it just kind of gets you started with how to work all this MIDI stuff. If you got any questions or anything, you know where to hit me up at. Um, please subscribe and let me know if there's anything you want to see specifically on this. Oh, I clipped. Nice. Take it easy, boys. See ya.